Hello everybody, welcome back. For 10 more minutes, the drop tank mold in action, baby. Okay, someone asked me what I put on this. Did I not put nothing on it? No, I went through the routine. I put several coats of wax on my plug. Just when I thought that was enough, I put one more coat on it, letting it set 10, 15 minutes in between, on and off. Wiping on, wiping off. If I let that wax sit on there for a little bit and haze up. Then uh, once I got it all clayed up, I waxed it all again. I waxed my wood. And uh, once I got it all good, then I sprayed my part all on there. Okay? I don't do nothing without wax and part all, baby. You know? Now what I got to do is I gotta, I'm starting in on my light cloth. This is just three quarter ounce cloth. This is about as light as we work with, okay? And I want to put it in the corners. I want to put it right there, just all over my corners. I got quite a bit cut. We got to start out with this light stuff because, uh, it bends around corners where your heavier stuff don't and it'll leave voids that will eventually crack out so don't put too much resin on your brush we don't want a super slop resin on there but anywhere we got the slightest little angle We're going to put some three quarter. Cause this stuff folds around them corners nice. Now I'm going to put a couple three layers of this down. Then I'm going to do it with six ounce cloth. Just little pieces. Okay. I just got a bunch of little squares cut. Yeah. And this will keep your mold from chipping out. Guaranteed. If you're having made a mold and you had chipping issues, it's because your resin was too thick. And you need that thick resin, but you also need uh, fiberglass in, the, in between that resin. If you don't, it's got to have something holding it together. You know? I know what you're saying. I made plenty of molds. I didn't do that, Bob. But I have, and I had cracking issues. You know, corners wanting to chip. That's why I do this now. But even over these little dots. Anywhere you got glass or uh, two different angles meeting, you know, it's where you want this stuff, and you just roll with it, baby. Just let it roll, just keep going. Now that I'm at this stage, I don't have to let it tack up no more in between coats. The second coat always dries faster than the first one because you already got resin down and it's warm, it's going off. So it's going to make your second coat go off quicker than your first one. The first one probably took four hours where the second one coat only took two. You know, because it's warming up in here and sun's out now and This resin's warmed up from the first coat going off. And just makes it go off quicker. 
but I'm just going to plaster it with these little pieces everywhere, all over. Then I could, I could take me a break. My back gets to hurt, and I can sit down for a while. And as long as I got all that, all my white resin covered. Then uh, I could sit down and take a break. But I got to get all this white resin covered first because it's starting to go off. If it goes off before you get it all covered. You're liable to have lamination issues. Oh, we got that one. By putting it in little pieces like this just helps it stay down in the corners, you know. Because we're not trying to get any build up with this cloth. All we're wanting to do is strengthen our corners up, you know. We're just trying, and we're trying to get it as close to the other surface as we can get it you know what I mean that's why I put them my white resin on just as thin as I could because if you just build that up great big thick you know which is the easy way to do it it will crack on you Not, you know just chip Chip here, chip there, little chips in your edges. And that's just one of my pet peeves. I don't like to go back in and fix my molds, you know. I just want to roll, baby. Bust out some parts. Let's see, I think I got it all covered with one coat. Got a bunch more cut, let's just use it up. Ain't gonna hurt a thing. 